everyone, welcome to the show It's Lit, where we'll be discussing all things literature, and I'm your host, Maha Khan. Today, I have a guest with me, and I let her introduce herself. Hi, Sara. Can uh, you give a little bit of introduction? My name is Sara, and yeah. I'm a media student currently in my fifth semester, and my areas of interest are photography, videography, yeah. editing, yeah. reading novels, literature. Yeah. And watching series as usual. Yeah. Or, like yeah. every other millennial. And also I'm making my way towards freelancing as well. Oh, a freelancing in what? Uh, graphic designing, editing. Yeah. Okay. So you said, obviously, that's why we're here, that reading is one of your yeah. hobbies. <clears throat> um, can you remember like when you started reading and what was it like a childhood hobby that continued on or you picked it up as you... Uh, were in your teenage years like how did you get into it um i was never a bookworm hmm. uh, it happened slowly but yeah, yeah surely <laughs> so yeah. um you know uh, back then when i was in uh, my 10th grade yeah uh, i had chosen uh, pre-medical as my yeah. field so huh. we all know how dry, dry and, and you know boring that yeah. thing is so i needed an escape from all that yeah. busy schedule tabhi i decided to something you know, yeah, a creative outlet yeah borrowing books from my library and yeah. that's when it all started so the you started for, reading for yeah. pleasure like most people do yeah like, yeah what were the books that you started reading then um uh, in my 10th grade ha yeah. matlab what uh, books I did you start from with all those um, romantic ones <laughs> Me before you yeah. a walk to remember yeah notebook, the Nicholas Sparks one Nicholas yes. Sparks yeah the OG romantic <laughs> yeah. books all those so do you feel like that your genres like change and differ or like all over the place or do you just like to stick to one genre like rom com or chick lit no or? it depends I like exploring though but you know I mostly watch those top rated uh, yeah. books that are you know yeah, the that recommended the ones, recommended the ones m- yeah the I famous ones watch, yeah those yeah. M- mostly watch those and yeah. uh, back then I used to uh, read those romantic ones more you know because like teenage the, life <laughs> like the Nicholas Sparks Nicholas and Sparks Rock to, uh, Remember, Walk to Remember The yeah. Notebook The Notebook and which one is that uh, uh, the one sh- that was uh, that had you. Miley Cyrus and uh, Liam the last Hansen. song yeah the last song the last that song. one Me All Before You yeah. After You yeah, yeah the goals yeah <laughs> the depicted goals couple Check that one. it had yeah. yeah any other books uh, that you remember <clears throat> reading when you were younger um Uh, I remember that uh, Lord of the Flies book. Uh, yeah. It was written by I think Golding something. Yeah. Uh, and I really loved the theme how yeah. he had you know compared uh, individualism and yeah. community and <clears throat> uh, savagery versus uh, civilization, yeah. Yeah. Uh, dehumanization of a society. The and, basic you know, human instinct. Yeah, without without uh, without the, there anyone being governing there, you governing there, you, like exactly. over your head, telling yeah. you that this is wrong, this is right. Without any rules, yeah. laws, how you know how your inner evilness comes out, overtakes, is exposed. Any other yeah. instinct? Yeah, yeah, for mm-hmm. survival, of yes, course. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah. Loss of innocence and yeah. you know negative consequences of war. Though yes. so it was uh, a yeah. brilliant piece of writing. Yeah, is that your favorite book? Yeah. Do you have any other favorites? Um I have I don't have any favorite as such huh. but yeah all those romantic ones that I had read those yeah. were my favorite. Yeah. And also whenever I'm reading a new book so yeah. I expect you know different elements and huh, of you course, know you want some changes. Yeah, the newness. Huh. You know if I'm reading a new book I would obviously expect something something different that's different the from the other, of other course, one, huh. the older one. Yeah. So yeah, I like those new themes unique characters and plot twists and everything yes <clears throat> yeah so uh so we talked about that you loved reading me before me you before, which yeah. is written by jojo myers yeah so can you tell me like how it changed your perspective what you took away from that book like what it taught you and how it shaped your real personal life you know uh, after he had left after he you know died the guy yeah. uh you know all that sorry uh, spoilers <laughs> <laughs> yeah so mm-hmm. i love that element jahan mm-hmm. wo you know she is going through a lot of stress yeah no i get your point like 
continuing forward while knowing that the the support system that you yeah. had someone that you loved so much is gone but has you gone. are exactly. still here and you have to continue moving forward and without them and yeah how, that's what i had yeah. you know learned from learned back then yeah. okay, obviously i hadn't lost anyone ha huh, i mean pe. we can't relate on that level yeah. neither can we relate on the level that the guy yeah. was what the guy was going through being quadriplegic and suddenly losing everything that everything. you were and losing your whole persona and Obviously, your personality like who you were feeling for him yeah of course someone like his caregiver yeah looking after him obviously it was you know his love after yeah. that like in yeah she it, taught him to live and at least like she gave him hope and she made his last time, days better uh, yeah. yeah so the movie that came out of that book yeah. uh, a movie there was a movie adaptation of that book. adaptation yeah so do you think the movie did justice to the book like the the storyline the characters how they were portrayed everything like according um, to you to be very honest i like reading the books first uh-huh. yeah. yeah uh you know that detail wala element because usually books are more you have more detailed yeah. version so hmm. tabhi i like reading those uh details of the yeah, i feel like, like if i don't the, yeah i might miss out details. on you know important details of yeah. the story plus the you know the character you imagine in your mind yeah. of the story it's really beautiful so yeah i prefer reading the book first huh. plus you know how short the movies are obviously huh, because of the time constraint, time constraint obviously you can't just yeah portray everything, everything on the camera yeah. of there are certain aspects and that, yeah and with the book like the medium is so vast you can get away with a lot of things yeah. as compared to what you can show on the camera yeah and so, I, huh, if i talk about yeah. myself i like reading yeah. the you know the detailed ones the detailed description yeah, of yeah, the yeah. characters huh. so yeah you like going in depth depth yeah yeah so i also know the fact that you love reading what pad yeah. like what pad books yeah and discovering yeah. actually you used to so you're not into it like anymore you just don't get the time you know how that reader block wala yeah. part happens so yeah no trust me i get that i get that a lot yeah, yeah in I this you know that. current netflix era it's uh-huh. pretty difficult to you know choose between either with, you should yeah, watch keep up th- something or you should read something read something what's yeah. more relaxing so <clears throat> when you used to read what pads or yeah. uh, what pad what were your favorite books uh my favorite books were the uh that series of perfect okay. perfect redemption perfect yeah. addiction perfect rune okay. and ride and uh, okay. the seller and okay. um there were a lot yeah. i had read a lot of books on you yeah. know what pad and yeah. you know how convenient it yeah, is to so read yeah it's so feasible on, yeah, exactly ha huh. pretty feasible and it's like wherever you go it goes yeah with. it's so mobile like you can just yeah. take it anywhere with like you wherever, it doesn't take no up space where you, are. It, you don't need any net you can read it everywhere, everywhere. and anywhere exactly. and the books are free like the biggest perk the, the, yeah they are free uh. plus the you know the stories are mostly written by youngsters yeah. so the relevance they give a new it perspective makes, yeah, like that's what and also, makes it even more interesting i also like the fact that you can see how the authors are growing over time yeah. with each new work that new they work. put out you can see that growth like you can see it's so visible it's, yeah and i love that fact for me i always loved uh, the books the fairy tale series by simone shirazi she's amazing like if, i have heard a, a lot yeah. about her yeah you should But, read her books like yeah. whenever you get the time the way she depicts her character like how her stories are said yeah the whole plot line the concept of her books like it's amazing and her writing of course it's beautiful the way she writes um i'll definitely yeah. read this one yeah you should and also another suggestion for yeah. uh from what bad books that i'd like to give out is the tessa lovat i think that's how you pronounce her name uh are her books like i started reading her office affairs yeah. book and that is what got me into it and then i moved forward with her other work and it was amazing like th- the way she writes as well it's impeccable so what's your like take on all these whatpad authors that are moving away from whatpad right now because of the plagiarism, plagiarism yeah. yeah uh i think uh that shouldn't be happening they should mm-hmm. have 
you know a strict rule against mm. that uh, kyunki back then i still remember i had yeah. read a book yeah. uh, which was completely a copy of you know uh, the book that i told you about uh, confession confession yeah Pauline it was Hoover, completely yeah. the same so mm-hmm. yeah i i felt like i had wasted my time Haan, reading that book because, you were cheated you felt that yeah, well, yeah. Uh, because other than the characters everything the plot Haan. and theme everything yeah. were was was similar yeah any other book suggestions that you have um i think after you as well and mm-hmm. also uh, have you read that bo- uh, lord of the flies of course lord of the flies it's pretty you know and from what pad you'll suggest the perfect series perfect series yeah, yeah. so and the ride as well the ride yeah okay i'm not but heard about that but it's incomplete though um i hate when hey, authors exactly. do that like just leave it in the you middle know, and it's not been, complete it you know it's been it's been a year almost she hasn't updated the you know i hate like i hate that nothing part. agitates me more than that that Yeah, so like exactly. why when you started something like just stick to it and complete it just which is why i prefer reading the you yeah, know the hard copies ones, yeah huh? what's your take on ebooks and like hard co- hard copies like what do you find more convenient or easy to read i think uh, ebooks are a more yeah. you know feasible and yeah. convenient way of reading yeah, yeah. but you know at the same time hard copies uh, hard copies are you know that feeling that complete yeah. you know having it in your hand and reading from it i yeah. think that's beautiful yeah that that tangible feeling feeling the like, tangible uh, exactly like getting that whole yeah proper experience but again huh? uh, you know what pad is a way more convenient way, huh, no matter course. where you are yeah. it's always with you yeah that's true yeah so like what's your take that when you like read a lot of ebooks yeah and then suddenly you have to switch to a hard one yeah a, a hard copy do you find that transition is like a little bit difficult uh, yeah, to make yeah at or, times though huh. uh, you know when you're reading uh, from a uh, you know hard copy one yeah. uh, it's like you focus on each and every detail mm. but yeah, whereas yeah, yeah huh. whereas uh, uh, while reading those ebook ones yeah. i you know i just quickly wrap it up ha that happens with me as well it's like you're just skimming through the yeah. words rather than you're like not focusing cons- on the you like know? totally focusing on yeah. them yeah I get that as well. Yeah, huh, that and happens it, with me. Yeah, so you prefer, but what do you prefer most? I think uh, what bad, what bad and like yeah. e-books and everything. E- yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, have you heard about that uh, book, uh, the movie that came out of that what bad book after? Ah, uh, no, no, I haven't. Yeah, I've like heard really bad reviews about both of them actually, like the movie and the book, and also the book is hundred chapters long. Really? Yep. That's a lot. <laughs> I know, like who has that much time that on their hands? That much time, of, of and course. it doesn't just stop at one book. There are two more books to go, and all are hundred chapters. So, I'm, I'm never, you know, I cannot yeah. read that lengthy book. I'm exactly, always that's just, a time know? commitment. Yeah, I mean, for me, fifty chapters, fifty chapters, forty-eight, like 48, above forty-five, 40, between forty-five and fifty, it's 50. like the perfect length. Yeah. Uh, have you read that book Confess by Colleen Hoover? No, but I was about to start her new book that Ugly Love. Not new book, yeah, another book of hers, I read Ugly that. Love. Yeah. You should definitely uh, read that book. It's beautiful. So should I read you that know? first or like Ugly Love first? Uh, uh, con- uh Confess first. Confess first. Yeah. Can you like give a little summary? Not s- any spoilers but like a summary. It's about a girl who goes through a lot. Okay. In the beginning, her partner d- dies, and yeah. I'm afraid I might end up giving. No, no, no! Like you're just giving us the summary. Yeah. I mean, it's a beginning. Like so, people yeah, would know I'll, if they uh, just read first. Two they chapters. have a lot of you know plot twist and yeah. stuff. So yeah, it's it's dramatic, know, dramatic, and yeah. you know those little <laughs> climaxes and plot twists. Yeah. yeah. So do you like see any future in this field, like English literature, like? being an editor or working for a publication firm um, something of that sorts or maybe writing a book uh, i once had a dream of writing a book yeah. to be very honest but yeah. you know you never know where yeah. you're going to end up yeah, yeah. so yeah i never had any idea i would be doing this media yeah. media thing yeah. yeah so for now i'm trying to you know focus myself mm-hmm. more for uh, on this career that i have chosen yeah, yeah yeah so yeah i'm trying to you know we're just sticking to one it, thing right now ha huh. 
rather than thinking about too many yeah. things and taking up too many things yeah so it was lovely having you we'll wrap it Thank up with you. this i mean it was an honor it, talking to you same it was a lovely yeah. time with you Thank you everyone for joining in and listening and watching us and I hope to see you next time bye